breaking news. Reasons for Cristiano Ronaldo's disrespectful gesture and Saudi Arabia's ban on him. The Ethics and Disciplinary Committee of the Saudi Arabian Football Federation, SAFF, has handed down a one-game suspension to Cristiano Ronaldo. After Ronaldo made what looked like a vulgar gesture at Al-Shabaab supporters over the weekend, the Saudi FA began investigating. Besides serving a suspension, Ronaldo is also have to pay a fine to the SAFF in the amount of 10,000 Saudi rials, 2,108 pounds, 2,462 euros, 2,666 dollars, and an additional 20,000 rials to Al-Shabaab to settle the fees associated with registering the complaint. Not for the first time has the Al Nasser forward been the target of national criticism after an incident like this one occurred at the conclusion of a match. In November 2022, Ronaldo's vocal criticism of Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag led to the mutual termination of his contract. In January 2023, Ronaldo joined Al Nasser. He reportedly earns £173 million. $219 million annually from the Saudi club under his deal that lasts until 2025. How did Ronaldo behave after Sunday's 3 2 Saudi Pro League SBL, victory against Al Shabaab? The 39 year old seemed to make a sexually suggestive gesture. Social media videos show Ronaldo gesturing toward his privates and then placing his palm on his ear. It seems like the target of this was the fans of the other team. The chanting of Messi by the crowd, a reference to Ronaldo's longtime adversary Lionel Messi, appeared to set off his later outburst. Despite the lack of television transmission, prominent Saudi journalist and host Walid Al-Faraj stated that the disciplinary committee was standing the largest test due to the content. Regardless of your level of fame, everything has limits. Al-Faraj chimed in. Al Nasser remained in second. Place in the SBL, seven points behind El Hilal, thanks to a goal from Ronaldo in the 21st minute and two goals by Talisca of Brazil. Can you tell me why you find it insulting? Amnesty International calls Saudi Arabia. A place where basic human rights are overlooked and where people have their freedoms constrained, describing it as one of the most restrictive nations in the world. It is one of the crimes that requires imprisonment and deportation if performed by a foreigner remarked Nuf bin Ahmed, a Saudi lawyer, in response to Ronaldo's apparent performance of a comparable obscene gesture in April 2023.IS Ronaldo still mum. Reportedly, the ex-United and Real Madrid attacker explained the gesture in a statement he gave to the disciplinary committee. We are accustomed to it in Europe, and I respect all clubs. The action in the shot communicates strength and triumph and is not shameful, reportedly stated Ronaldo. The Athletic reached out to Ronaldo's camp for comment, but they have yet to respond. Will he miss any particular game? Despite being originally named to Luis Castro's side to face Al Hazm, who are currently in last position, Ronaldo will not be able to participate today, Thursday, when Al Nasser play Al Ain in Monday's AFC Champions League quarterfinal. He'll be fit to play again. Does this make him an expert? It appears that Ronaldo made similar obscene gestures when in Saudi Arabia as shown in multiple clips. Supporters of Al-Hilal hurled a team scarf at the forward as he exited the field after their loss in the Riyadh Season Cup final on February 8. Ronaldo took it in his hands, appeared to caress his crotch, and then tossed it back. 